Jr. here. First, I'd like to apologize for the wind. We are in a very windy spot. Over here on state of Washington at the Columbia River overlooking the town of Roosevelt and the town of Arlington, Oregon. I'm going to put you guys to music because it's awfully windy and I'm going to show you the view that we have right now. It's just, just flat out incredible. So sit back, enjoy, and watch what we got. Then I'm going to show you some of the finds that we have. You rockhounds are going to like it. And sorry for the truck coming down. I'll be right back with you. In the distance is Interstate 84. Okay, everybody, here is some petrified wood that we found today. Now I'm doing this one-handed to try to keep the wind out of here because it's awfully windy today. So there you go, there's a sample of what we found so far today. I'm gonna to do some more uh, searching. If I find more, I'll surely show you guys. Hey everybody, hey, what's that? We're not looking for rocks. We got poles in the water to do some walleye fishing here. And if you're wondering where we're at, we are at Umatilla Marine and RV Park again, just a different spot. But there is the city park over there. There's the parking lot. And Mrs. Jaws Jr.'s got one side, and the senior Jaws, Mr. Jaws, or whatever you want to call him, the old man Jaws, he's got one over here. The fishing might be good, but the catching ain't worth a garbage ain't worth garbage right now. But that's okay. As long as you're fishing, life is good. But this is a beautiful day here in Umatilla, Oregon. No wind. And it's not a hundred degrees. So we're just keeping an eye on the tips of these poles. We got some current pulling them down, but nothing spectacular yet. We might be changing over to light gear and going after the perch. But what a beautiful day this is today. Well, we are here seeing what the senior Jaws is picking up. His pole just started a wiggling and bouncing on him. I'll have to go down there and probably retrieve it, but that's okay. We'll at least get a shot of it. It's an incredible day here today. Whoa, that's 
a bass. Yeah, you got a bass. Uh, let's see if he can get it up here. That's a big one. There's a Wally. One or the other. This is a big bass. You're going to have to go down there and get him. Yeah, I figured as much. He's a nice one. You want to keep him for eating? No. We'll throw him back. There he is. And there's the result, everybody. And we're not going to keep him. We're going to throw him on back. There you go. Hey, everybody. We are back at the Jaws Junior Entertainment Mobile Command Center. Pretty cool name for it, isn't it? Well, for our rock hunting adventure, we did pretty good. So I'm going to show you a sampling of what we found. All of this is from the Columbia Basin area. There's a tease. But every bit of it's from the Columbia Basin area of Oregon and Washington. So there's a pretty big area that we've went and dug some stuff up at. And had a great time doing it. So here we go. So there you go. This is some jasper here that we dug. Again, this is more jasper that we dug here. I wish we could have found more of this. There's very little of this to be found. Same with this one here. This, this type of jasper here is fairly easy to work with. And there's a lot of it, so we did pretty good with that. And then this unique piece of petrified wood. Almost looks like oriented strand board. And then, of course, some quartzite. And some more quartzite. So for now, everybody, that's what we found. Now, we also talk about packing things out. So the next part, I'm going to show you what we packed out and some of the benefits that we have of what we found. Kind of frustrating with what we found because some people are extremely lazy, but at the same time, I'm going to take advantage of their laziness and um, put it to good use. So many people have talked about going ahead and packing out trash and packing out a few other things when they're out rock hounding. That we are very we do the same thing. If we find trash and garbage and things like that, we're going to pack it out. Well, on this trip here, we found something that was pretty cool for us. Kind of frustrating because people were so stinking lazy that they couldn't bother to clean up after themselves. So we found all these shell casings. Basically, we've got everything from a 45, a 40 caliber, I can't read what that one is, it looks like a 357, 9 millimeters, 38s. We have just a ton of, a ton of them here. So, yeah, and again, 9 millimeter. 223 Remington, which is basically a 5.56. We've got them both in the steel and brass casings. And some of these have already been gone through, and some of the better 45s have been taken out for reloading. See, a 40, a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. Well, what are we going to do with all these? You know... I see a bunch of Western style art here, mainly through buttons and other things. Uh, I also see some other things that we can do with, with um, making some stone looking bullets. Also we did find some live ammo too, which is, what a waste. I mean if you're going to take your, if you're going to do this. Go ahead and shoot it all, people. Come on, that's ridiculous. 
Now this is a 40 caliber that we found on the ground after we shot. And then another one. So, so for now, we're going to just bag this stuff back up and some of it can get melted down some of it can be used for those those people i know who can reload these some of it's going to get made into jewelry um just a bunch of ideas that's coming through our heads here um so it's stuff future projects I'm never going to let it pass anything up like this but yeah we picked these up in probably about an hour's worth of time just wandering around one area and we were looking for agates um, again if people are going to be that stinking lazy that they can't pick up after themselves, maybe they shouldn't be out there or have these. It's just kind of frustrating that we spend, that we had to spend some of our time cleaning up after somebody else. Yes, we've got a benefit for it, but that's enough, that's ridiculous. So for now, everybody, on that note, Bill Jaws Jr. here at the Mobile Command Center. Just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine with a bunch of shell casings. This is Adventures of Jaws Jr., everyone. Have a good one. See ya!